let me give you an overview of Epidata software, the general anatomy of this particular software. If you open Epidata, this is the first screen that you will see. And right on top, you will see a title bar, which gives you the name of the software and the version details. So in this case, it's Epidata software version 3.1. Now there is a, another way of looking at the details of the version, which I'll show you at the end of this presentation. Just below the title bar, you have what's called menu bar. This is usual in any Windows based application. And what's unique to Epidata entry software is the one below the menu bar, which is called as work process toolbar. Now this work process toolbar, you can see that there are six steps that are involved. And in fact, this is intuitive and we will go through one after the other. Step one is nothing but how to make a quest file. Step two is about making a rec file. Step three is about making a check file. And once the triplet files which go into the database are ready, you use that to enter data and enter data twice. And once you have double entered the data, then the next step is validation, which comes under number five. And once you have validated the data set and have a clean data set, then you want to export it for the purpose of analysis in Epidata or to other analysis softwares like Stata or SPSS. So these six steps will be the focus of our discussion in the next two days. Just below the work process toolbar, you have something called editor toolbar. This has the usual edit options, cut, undo, copy, paste, print, save, things like that. And right at the bottom, you find a bar called status bar. And this sort of gives the status at that particular point in time. Now, a general principle I want to say here is, as you begin to play with the software, be observant. Just keep observing and noting what's happening at every step of the process. The moment you click a button, observe what happens. Something grays out, something becomes highlighted, something happens in the status bar. Keep observing all of this because that will help you understand the software in a much better fashion. Let's look at setting some of the options. If you go to file and click on options, you will get this particular dialog box. And there are six tabs in this dialog box. Let's click on the third tab, which is create data file. And there are two important things that we have to do here. The first thing is there is a a section called how to generate field names and there are two options here. The first option is you make the first word in a question as the field name and the second option is automatic field names. I would request you to click on the first one and the reason I'm saying this is we want to have complete control about what will be the names of the variables in our study. Clicking on automatic field names will allow the software to generate automatic field names and then we will have to start remembering to these automatic field names and work with it, which is very, very cumbersome. So what I would request is to gain full control right away and we want to say what would be our field name. So click on the first word in the question as field name. So if you do that, you can see here whatever is the first word in the quest file will become your field name and so in this case v1 becomes the field name v2 v3 accordingly those will be our field names and if you want you can change from v1 to whatever that's more intuitive we will come to that but if you click on automatic field names then what happens is you know the software gives automatic names so even though it appears as v1, the actual name of the variable will be v1h, v2sex. So these are automatically generated variable names. And then we will have to remember 
oh it's it has become v1 age and then you have to work along with it which is very very cumbersome so i strictly recommend that you click on the first word in question is field name the second thing i want you to click on is probably there is a small thing called update question to actual field name please click on that because if you don't click on that update then whatever variable you have name you have entered will appear as it is so if you have entered by mistake or assign the same name to two variables it will appear as it is even in your data entry file and can be quite confusing whereas if you click on update question to actual field name it automatically changes the name of the variable and that becomes visible to you when you are doing data entry and this is very very useful so please ensure that you click update question to actual field name the other thing i want you to do is to click on lower case so you are forcing that the field names are actually in lower case irrespective of what you type whether you type upper case lower case or a mixture it will force to make it a lower case and we will come to know about this a little later as to why this is very important if you go to the editor tab you can select the font of the editor and by default you may find something called as courier new you can click on select font and change the font and select background and change background color which is currently white you can do all of that but i would request you to keep to courier new as the font type the reason is this there are two kinds of fonts one is proportional font and other one is non proportional font for example times new roman is a proportional font what uh, what is a proportional font it means that the space occupied by each alphabet or each character is proportional to the character for example the letter m occupies a larger space as compared to the letter l and this is very easy for reading and so in most textbooks or any book for reading this is the font we use whereas courier is a non proportional font that means each character consumes the same amount of space can you see this a l and an m occupies exactly the same amount of space in a programming uh, a situation when you are writing up a program this is very useful and any errors that you commit in the program are immediately identified so i would request you to stick to courier or courier new as as the non proportional font in in your editor the next is show data form in that again you can make selections of font background but the most important is field color i would request you to keep the field color white so that it's easy on the eye click on the highlight active field and give it a color so that you clearly know when which field you are currently in during data entry so whenever the cursor is in a, is in a particular field then the color changes to whatever you have assigned here and that is very useful in terms of field style create flat with border i prefer that because then each field will appear like a box neat and clean choose line height as you prefer and then if you go to the final tab which is called file associations you can click on all these and say associate file types the moment you say you may get a thing called mart file extensions are associated with epidata now some of you may also find that there is an error don't worry it has not that it's not that important functionally there is a small advantage which you will lose if this doesn't work but that is so minuscule that you can easily ignore now this is the other way to look at what version you are working with go to help click on about epidata 
and then you will find that you will have epidata, the version, the build, who wrote this program, etc. etc. So this is the other way of knowing the details of the person you are working with. Now this completes an overview of the structure of Epidata Entry software. Thank you.